And now we are going to discuss about four signals here that is uh, unit uh, impulse, unit step, ramp and signal uh, signals. And uh, the basic mathematical expression uh, uh, for representing this signal uh, here we can see uh, del of n as the unit impulse signal the, so which is equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and 0 for n not equal to 0 and you can see the graph on the side and then um, u of n which is actually unit step uh, which is equal to 1 for n greater than equal to 0 and uh, 0 for n uh, less than 0 and you have the graph again and then um, we have uh, a ramp of n that is uh, equal to n for n greater than equal to 0 and um, 0 for n less than 0 and we have signal function represented by SGN or, uh, that is SGN of n which is equal to 1 for n greater than 0 and 0 at n equal to 0 and minus 1 for n uh, less than 0. So these are the four signal which we are going to generate and uh, we have uh, octave software here and um, uh, I will just show you some uh, uh, at least two signals uh, like how to generate it. It's like we'll take n range uh, that is going to be here n equal to minus 5 to 5. So that we have uh, uh, the numbers here listed uh, just an array that is minus 5 to 5. And now uh, we'll take um, uh, that is del of n or to just represent a new uh, unit uh, impulse signal that is x equal to. Uh, complement of n. Now we have uh, 1 at uh, 0 and uh, rest of the place you can see we have zeros. Now if we plot this graph the stem of n comma x. Now uh, you can see we have a unit impulse signal here and now again we will have the same n and we will take x as n greater than or equal to 0 and uh, now what happens is to be very clear we can even have a brace and uh, now you can see uh, we have uh, once from 0 to uh, 5 uh, and rest of them are 0 here uh, for the end range now uh, if you plot this graph now you can see we have a unit step signal so Similarly, I have uh, generated graphs here uh, like uh, the first thing is we have unit impulse signal here and then uh, I am using the same end so I don't need this you can, uh, I can even remove this and now uh, we have unit step signal and then uh, now uh, I have taken each signal x1 uh, this is going to be our unit step signal and this is going to be x2 uh, then, uh, then x3 and x4 now if you can see x3 here so n range is uh, uh, minus 5 to uh, 5 and then now we have x2 already that is a ramp signal this is a ramp signal you can see here this is a ramp signal and um, ramp signal is actually uh, uh, the, the mathematical expression says ramp of n equal to n for n uh, greater than or equal to 0. Uh, also ramp signal is equal to n u of n so n u of n is a unit step signal so if we multiply uh, just uh, uh, n with u of n we get ramp signal so that's what I have done here so uh, n uh, that is dot star operation becomes an element wise operation that is x2 uh, x2 we have x2 here which is uh, unit impulse uh, signal that is uh, u of n uh, dot star n is our n here so when we multiply this we get a ramp signal and uh, next uh, we have um, x4 this is like uh, we need little work uh, to be done for um, uh, generating a signal uh, function where we have uh, n range so we get x4 uh, x4 equal to size of n and then um, we have uh, a for loop which says uh, count equal to 1 is to length of n and uh, it uh, when we have n less than 0 it is going to be minus 1 and if n is greater than 0 then um, we get our uh, values are going to be 1 that is what is the maximum mathematical expression and we plot the graph that is going to be signal function here signal signal so let's run this uh, script and see the output uh, you can see here i have used subplot fun uh, function and uh, first signal is our unit impulse signal and then unit step signal and then we have the ramp signal that is for this particular uh, uh, that is uh, line 14 to 70 
we have ram signal and then line 18 to 27 uh, sorry 31 we have a signal signal so this is how it is generated and you can see at uh, zero we have uh, zero and uh, greater than uh, in signal signal we have uh, greater uh, greater than the zero we have ones and uh, lesser than zero we have minus one so this is what um, uh, is the uh, signal and how we we have to generate signals like this and we have to apply our uh, the mathematical expression can be converted into equivalent uh, uh, mathematic uh, matlab script or octave okay script uh, like this and you can similarly generate many signals like this um, this is what i wanted to tell you in this video we will meet in another video thank you thanks a lot